Hi, champ. <sighs> My name is Frances. Okay, okay. Welcome to another episode with me. <sighs> Sorry about my voice. I'm down with the flu. I oh, know he doesn't want to leave. I've been taking meds, but he still hasn't left. So my voice is kind of <sighs> groggy. Mm-hmm. So today I'll be talking about the rules. You know? There are rules that have been passed down for as long as society has been in existence. These rules have been tried and tested from generation to generation. We all still met them and we follow them. But are these rules, they are unwritten rules, are they good or are they bad? For example, in relationships, you hear things like, you don't have sex with the guy on the first date or you see as a trump. Well, I know a girl that had sex with a girl on the first day. They are married now with kids and they are very happy. Then, you're a man, don't let a girl know how much you like her. Show her how desirable you are to other girls. <sighs> See, the second a male friend tried this crap with the girl that he liked, she left him and waltzed into the arms of another guy. She thought it was a thrust. It was a flirt and he'd never liked her genuinely. But you know, he was just trying to play a game. Yeah. Then for girls you hear when you're a girl you need to play how to get. No matter how much you like the guy that men love the hunt. So a friend of mine played how to get with the guy of our dreams. The poor bloke just got tired, he lost interest. He was tired of the hot and cold treatments. He saw her as a tease and a user. He just really liked her book. You know, he couldn't read her mind. He wasn't sure if she liked him or not. So she let he let her go. Then he had things like, never be the first to tell a guy how you feel or he'll take you for granted. Well, another girl I heard about told the guy she loved him first. She even proposed to him and they're happy. Well, as far as I know, they are. Then, yeah, if a guy cheats on you and you stay with him, he'll never appreciate you. Well, he cheated. She didn't say a word, but he knows that she knows. She stayed with him and he loved her the more for it. He was scared of doing anything because he didn't know how she was going to react. Well, I'm not supporting good, bad behavior. It's good for her, I guess. It worked out for her. But most cheats I know never change you just find ways to be smarter about it then you have things like nobody will marry a divorced woman with children you better stay for the sake of your children so many stayed some left and it ended better for them then you have things like a man is the head of the house so I know tried a lot of master approach on his wife she packed her bags and she left then you and your partner must have things in common then some people say opposites attract. The former works, so does the latter for some people. Then you say if you're a man, your life partner should be younger than you are. Well, I leave this for you to fill in. As a lady, you have to get married before you turn 30. No man wants an old woman, your eggs will dry up and you become barren, blah blah blah, yada yada yada. I'll save my thoughts on this one. Then you hear things like, you know the one, when you took it up like a roof on fire. You know, everything seems so natural, you guys are so into each other. Feels like you've known each other forever. Well, some bust into this rule, and it all ended in divorces. Others hated each other for a bit when they met, and well, they are still happily married. Then in friendship, you hear things like, birds of a feather flock together. Well, I guess it works for most people, but if all my friends were like me, had the same interests and everything, I'd be bored out of my mind. I think I'm a pretty boring person sometimes. Besides, I'd have nothing to write about. Or characters to base them on. LOL. <laughs> then real friends never hurt you. Well, yeah, right. It's human nature to be selfish. Everybody's a human being. A friend got hurt by another friend. 
she finally forgave her and that friend cherishes their friendship now more than ever they've gotten to know each other's weaknesses and are okay with it well it works a for some people it works b for some people show me your friends i'll tell you yeah practically same with the first thing i mentioned about friendships someone i know has a gay best friend but he isn't one no is he bisexual he's the straightest guy i've ever met no cover-ups then in business you get things like the kind of business this kind of business venture never succeeds well i'm sure thomas edison bill gay steve jobs and many others had their ears filled with that one they hear things like ah you need to serve a master before you can become good in your own business I've met people that never worked in any firm after university, but started theirs almost immediately and know the length on it, they are very successful at it. They hear things like when in Rome, act like the Romans. I'm sure you can think of an exception in this run, in this particular rule. Oh, champ, there are loads of such unwritten rules. Funny thing is, they don't work for everybody. There are exceptions to all these rules. People have different journeys, different destinies, different experiences. There are just some people that some or one of them never work for. They keep trying to force it to work, but it doesn't. They deviate from the rule and they get what they want. In the end, no rule will guide us forever. Well, except you're Christian and you believe in God and you know, follow the dictates and rules of the Bible. That's different. I'm talking about unwritten rules, citing unwritten rules and expectations. Yeah, I think it's, it's see it's I think what's important is to know what makes us and God happy. A is different from B. B is different from A. I've seen some relationships and I'm like, wow. But occupants are happy in their madness. We're all mad one way or the other anyways. I'm sure to some people I'm crazy, to some people I'm a good person, so yeah. Some people I'm boring, some people I'm extra normal. We even create all these unwritten rules, but people, they saw someone it happened to, or it happened to them, then they passed it on. See, rules can be good sometimes. Don't get me wrong. They can be good. I always believe that no rule is really carved in stone. It's about finding sincere people, be they lovers, friends, business partners. You can waste a rule on A, but it's work on B. But then it's work on C. In the end, just do you. Life can be unpredictable and surprising. You know? So don't let all these unwritten rules or media written rules detect your life for you. So, champ, as usual, I hope my thoughts on this have been able to help you somehow, as imperfect as they are. And do not forget that you're a champ. And I love you. But God loves you more. Till next time. My name is Frances Okiki. Bye, champ.